this thing. <laughs> I'm from just down the block, Bridgeport, Connecticut. You know, and so this is kind of like a coming home for me. It's kind of really weird coming back now. And never would have uh, guessed or realized that at some point I will be showing in this museum. It's an inter interesting sojourn. Well, um, 1977, I believe that was the Chuck Close exhibition, it was my first visit to a museum. Uh, uh, here I am actually sitting across from a Chuck Close, <laughs> and it's an interesting homecoming. Uh, introducing it here in an exhibition um, uh, at, you know, a place where my beginnings, my first museum hit, this is it's perfect, you know. Being able to create large-scale works uh, is, uh, you know, just in fact, just ingenuity in terms of how you sort of navigate space, how you're going to sort of see these things in your head, because you're never going to see them in the studio full on. So we're talking two gigantic pieces that you guys have here that I actually never saw in the studio. So uh, uh, your space is what, it's, it's, it's what you make of it. Uh, if you're an artist, you're going to make art. And you're going to follow, or should follow, at least, you know, your calling. This, this whole journey, you're connected, you're not alone. You have to know that whatever I'm saying, it falls right back into this, the exact same philosophy of being uh, natural, you know. We're not separate from nature. We are absolutely nature and to separate ourselves because we have this sort of brain that, that wants to sort of like differentiate between us uh, as civilized and nature as something uncontrollable. No, we are actually in line with that very same thing. I'm in tune with it. We all have that in us. You know, the, where I am right now uh, in terms of my work, uh, color has sort of intervened. I'm actually transforming these things and actually they're being pulled into a journey uh, that by sort of its natural happenstance happens with uh, found objects. I have to become the weather. In the studio, there are working titles. You know, they are numbered for a reason. That gives the, uh, the viewer, uh, you know, uh, an opportunity to sort of find themselves in the work. If I titled it, it would be that all the time. But without that title, it morphs into different things, you know. It's, it, the potential and possibilities are, you know, endless. So all of my work, in, in effect, is about this, this kind of a collection or collecting of experiences. And how that information transforms and, and transmits it has everything to do with uh, finding itself in different locations and then resolving what it is in, at this moment in its life, you know. This work is not complete unless uh, the public has an interaction with it. They actually are part of uh, the completion of the work. There should be enough room for me to actually learn <laughs> and experience also. This is a really exciting time at the Wadsworth Athenaeum, and what better way of welcoming back our communities than through these incredible installations by Leonardo Drew. Being in Connecticut with a show of, of this scale is kind of a homecoming in a way. It seems he's very comfortable here, and we're so excited to be showing a, a Connecticut artist in our spaces. When you see a Leonardo Drew for the first time, you think, huh, that's different from anything I've ever seen before. And it is memorable. Some of the first experiences that children have in museums can be the most formative. Whether they see something that looks familiar or something that looks like nothing they've ever seen before. And if we can provide that kind of opportunity for children at such a formative age, through the programs that we run at the museum. The work on the front lawn is this expansive opportunity to enter into this landscape and participate in it. The visitor who completes the experience and his works are all about experience. Um, he wants you to engage, to interact, to sit, to relax, to enjoy the space with community, with friends, with family. And we're already seeing that happen out there. I, I feel as though you're on a journey with the artist, um, a journey of learning and growth together. Art has a transformative power, and the way that Leonardo Drew uses space in such a dynamic way, and then also asks for that participatory element. And for the Wadsworth to present such an expansive installation as the one that's on the front lawn, that invites visitors to engage with it, to, to participate in its life, makes it just something really special and different.